Good morning and welcome to the workshop. This time I'm going to be dealing with the valve chest. Now this is going to have a lot of hand filing in, a very long way to drill through, uh, a small hole all the way through into this little bit of the bottom. Um, I'm going to be mostly using the fore jaw for this one because I think that's going to be pretty fun. So let's get on with that. So I did the majority of the filing with these large uh, Viob Swiss files on this um, this large vise here, but I've, I've got this knockoff uh, Berge on uh, Swiss jeweler's vise. It's got very flat parallel jaws and proportionally a really large screw. So it actually screws in really flat and really parallel. So there's no danger of damaging the part or, or marking it. Uh, and I'm just smoothing out the inside of the um, steam chest with with these files, which are also uh, Viorb Swiss files, but kind of jeweler's files rather than um, big engineering files. So I faced off both sides of the uh, of the steam chest, uh, and that was in the fore jaw. And I'm using uh, some parallels that I've uh, recently purchased, unfortunately made in China, but um, couldn't find any made locally, um, which are excellent. Half inch is just good to, to get this in here. I'm using uh, old beer cans uh, chopped up, if you can recognize that, as a uh, as shims to, to avoid marking the surfaces too badly. I thought this was an interesting setup for machining the end, or the side, sorry, of the casting. So I used a parallel in here to space the rear of the casting out from the chuck face and give me some clearance. I've got my beer can shims in here and uh, I've got it clamped up like this. Um, this specifically is suggested by the uh, Building a Model Steam Engine book, rather than holding it um, more orthogonally, which is what I, I assumed would be uh, the method. Um, but yeah, it's... So I'm going in 24 thou on this side. I'm right up against the edge of the work. You can just hear that whispering. So I'm going to go up in probably 10, 10 and 4. So I'm going to move in 10 thou. Now the last pass at 4 thou. So I'm going to slacken off the carriage lock there um, and rem use this my handy um, device for removing, uh, so for holding the spindle in place without engaging the back gear and potentially smashing the teeth. There we go. That's the uh, four jaw out. So I'll rechuck it. I'll face the other side. So we've got this end faced off uh, with a normal tool on this shoulder and then turning this diameter uh, down to three eighths of an inch and then facing off the end here. This figure is 5 30 seconds uh, protruding from the steam chest. So now I'm going to drill this the full depth which by my calculations is an inch and a half from the front of this boss to the end where it's going to be um, in the, the boss on the other side, the, the blind hole. That's now two inches total. Which if you subtract the half inch that I moved to get the drill to the front of the work, should be exactly the right distance drilled in. I am now going to be drilling the counterbore 
And to do that, I need to leverage the, the use of a dial indicator, because although the quill has markings, those markings are only every eighth of an inch, and they're not granular enough. I need to drill this 7 30 seconds of an inch in, uh, which by my calculations is 219 thou. So I'm going to be watching on this dial for 219. Let's uh, ream this uh, interior bore of this to one eighth. This is the tapping arrangement. This is a taper tap. This is a tap wrench. And here is my sprung tap follower. Um, I'm going to take the uh, clutch out of the lathe. And now I can do this by holding the tap in place, rotating the chuck. I've already marked out and center popped the steam inlet onto the side of the steam chest. Um, I tried this time to use some Stuart's Micrometer Blue, which is just down there, and managed to get it all over my hands, all over the floor and everywhere, and actually much less um, convenient than just using the Sharpie, which is what I normally use, but uh, that was an interesting experiment, I guess. Um, I'm now going to centre drill this, drill it for clearance, and then tap it quarter by 40.